Hi and welcome to DiffBlue eLearning. This eLearning video will take you through the getting started steps for Cover CLI, DiffBlue's command line tool, which can be used to automatically write Java unit tests for your classes, methods, modules, and projects. In brief, we'll download, install, and license Cover CLI, check our development environment, and then write tests for an example project. For the full, free trial experience, using Cover Plugin and Cover CLI, check out our free trial e-learning video. There are two main methods for installing Cover Plugin. You can download the .exe installer for Windows or install from a zip file for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Download links and license keys are provided in your DiffBlue welcome email or may be provided by your organization. If you're using the Windows installer, download the cover cli.exe file, run the installer, and follow the prompts. The installer will set up your path environment variable for you, so there's nothing else to do. If you're installing from the zip file, the process is similar for each OS. For Windows, download the cover cli.zip file, unzip the file to an appropriate install folder, and then add this folder path to your path environment variable. For Mac OS and Linux, download the cover cli.zip file, unzip the file to an appropriate install location, and then add this location to your path environment variable. Whichever method you've chosen, open a shell and enter the cli command dcover version to check the install. If the install is all good, then cover will display the current version. Finally, to activate cover cli, you'll need to apply your license. Just enter the command dcover, activate, and add your license key. When you're done, enter dcover license to display your current license status. Now we can start using diffblue cover. There are three key steps in this demo. We'll clone an example project, compile the project and check our environment, and then write tests for a class and for the whole sample project. First, we'll clone the example project. We're going to make use of Spring Pet Clinic to show DiffBlue cover at work. First, we'll clone the project from the DiffBlue Git repo. Open a command line, navigate to where you want to clone the project, and enter the git clone command. Note that the repo URL is also provided in the YouTube video description. Now, we'll compile the project and check our environment. Before we write any tests, we need to compile the Pet Clinic project. DiffBlue Cover works by analyzing the bytecode of any project used with Cover. Open a command line, navigate to the directory containing the Pet Clinic project, and run the maven package command. DiffBlue Cover has a number of prerequisites, as with any software tool. See the specs and recs topic in DiffBlue Docs for details. As part of the test writing process, Cover performs a number of pre-flight checks to check the suitability of your environment. Cover CLI also provides a command line option to run these checks without writing any tests, useful when you just want to check out your environment without doing anything else. To run the pre-flight checks, enter dcover create dash dash pre-flight from the directory containing the pet clinic project. The checks will take a minute or two to complete and there should be no errors or warnings. Any issues at this stage will be reported using output codes and you'll need to resolve these before continuing. But if any of these specific codes are displayed, then you can use the dcover fix build command to apply automated fixes. For example, if you have a missing Makito dependency, the fix build option will add the missing dependency to your project for you. Now we'll write tests for a class and then for the entire pet clinic project. First, we'll use cover CLI to write tests for a class. Enter this dcover create command to write tests for the pet controller class. Run this from the demo spring pet clinic folder. dcover create is the main command for instructing diffblue cover to write tests. The next part provides the class path for the class we require tests for, in this case, pet controller. Cover CLI will now write the tests for the class. One command line, 10 methods analyzed, 9 tests written, around 214 lines of code created, and all in around 65 seconds. Finally, let's create the full test suite for the entire pet clinic project. 
Enter, decover, create. Of course, this one takes a little longer to complete as it creates tests across the entire pet clinic project. During this quick demo, we've demonstrated using some of the key decover command options such as version, activate, license, and create. We've also illustrated the dash dash preflight argument. Take a look at the commands and arguments docs topic for more details, and you can use the decover help or decover help create commands for inline help details. So, what does cover CLI do? The process is relatively straightforward. Diff Blue Cover first ensures that your code is compiled, and then analyzes your bytecode to fully understand your application. Cover triggers an execution of all possible paths through each method that Cover will create tests for and any related methods. It uses inputs that are similar to those a developer would choose, and determines the most useful assertions to add to the tests. Cover then creates and evaluates test candidates, selecting the best candidate for each method. The final tests are retained for each method and can be committed to your code base as needed. The tests are computationally correct and human readable every time. Now you've had the virtual experience, why not try it for yourself? Use the Pet Clinic example project just to get a feel for Cover CLI and then give it a go with your own code.